All right, we're live, and hopefully I got the mi right microphone working. Uh, yay, I do. I actually didn't fuck that up. All right, uh, is it continually working? I don't know. I can never tell. Uh, all right, yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Let's just hope the internet doesn't cut out. Welcome, everybody. I am finally streaming again after, like, a week-long absence. Uh, work got extremely, extremely busy for me. Uh, last week in particular. The main issue was that I was just working until 12.30 and I just could not be dick to stream at all. So, with that out of the way, uh, let me get the Twitch chat and the YouTube chat on my sidebar because I forgot to do that before I started. Uh, I just need to get Twitch chat real quick. And I got Twitch chat. I got Twitch chat. I got Twitch chat. I cannot say words. Alright. Uh, with that out of the way, let's get right into it. Into it, it do it, it do do it. it. Alright. So, uh, before I started, I was uh, disconnected from the internet. I set up the stream and everything. I just did some really mild grinding. I decided that it was important not to heal. For some reason I still have energy ball and beat up. Which I'm still pissed about beat up. Uh, I was training with uh, Andy and I decided not to heal just to show hey I didn't fucking cheat. I just wanted to make sure the other screen was working. Alright, I, I f completely forgot where we left off, to be honest. Let me get the other gear. There we go. There we go. So we're actually at five Pokemon right now. I'm just using the unknown as an HM slave because I said it's so... It said it so any Pokemon can learn TMs and HMs, which is honestly more useful than I realize. Alright, let's give Andy a nice little, uh... I don't think we actually used Andy in battle yet. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh. Uh, let's just finish it off with Peck. Oh, we're not finishing it off with Peck. It did do a lot of damage, though. Actually, we'll finish it off with Peck. Hello, uh, hello, Ed Boy. I'm just gonna call you Ed Boy. How you all doing tonight? Anyway, how have you guys been? It's been like a week. I haven't really been. Oh, oh, that's that's not good. Uh, hmm. I think I'll throw in. I'll throw a meat and fuck to see what happens. Oh! Oh, that is bad. <laughs> this is bad news bears. That is absolutely bad news bears. This, needs, this thing needs to die yesterday. Oh! Oh! Got a whole week of working hours, that's unfortunate. I mean, well, for me, that's good, because I, I need work, I need money. I actually spent uh, almost $3,000 on a uh, on some debt that I got in. Well, it was for student debt, so it's not like I, it's not like I just randomly uh, didn't pay a credit card. No, it's just for student debt. I paid 20 
2,500 on, well, yeah, 2,500, a little more than 2,500. So yeah, right now I need work. Which I which I have, thankfully. Obviously, because I was so busy last week I didn't stream. Alright, I think it's a steel type. So Oh, we're stockpiling? Okay. Fucking piece of shit. Oh, I know how you I know how you feel. Fucking working in the heat, especially if you work outside. I assume you're working outside as well. It's not fun, because I work outside. It's absolutely horrible. It was 92 degrees out, and it rained. It's not even like the cold rain. It's like hot as hell. So the rain was also hot as hell. So I did not have a good time at work today. I'm glad you can come here, too. I'm very glad that people are actually showing up to my late-night streams. I'm not sure how many of you there are right now, and frankly, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to check anyway, because I'm judgmental. Alright, there's 12 of you in total. I guess that's substantial. At least I get to have a conversation with a lot of you. Alright. Just did some quick XP grinding. I already forgot where to go. It's nothing out of the ordinary. Can we go this way? Uh oh. Gotta fight the rival. I forgot, it's been quite a while since we fought Sans. I also forgot his name was Sans. Man, I haven't woken up at midnight since I started my job. Holy crap. Oh. That can't be good. That That's not good. Andy's dead. We lost to Andy 13. what Andy was around fighting. That might have been like a water type move. Andy's dead again. Double edge? What? What? <laughs> this victory bell not, better not steamroll me. Holy shit. No surprise there. We lost another Andy, yeah. Let me just make sure I got the right Andy. Let me get rid of him. Say goodbye. He's gone. There have been 13 Andys so far. Uh, dragon. Just gonna. I, I I could safely assume that the Swablu is not gonna fuck me up. So, oh, <laughs> he has a Paris. So he's just got a bunch of really puny Pokemon, and then that Victory Bell. It's not competitive battle. No sleep claws. Uh, obviously, if you read the announcement, I am in Central Standard Time. I'm in Chicagoland. And I'm gonna double sword stance up. I'm not fucking around. We lost another Andy. Oh. Big boy over here is gonna bulk up. I'm gonna fuck him up.
Good to see the hydrate bot is still around. That should oko it easy peasy. I mean, I got three times attack right now. I should be fine. Oh, Taco Bell wants to learn Razor Leaf. That is a very normal move for it to learn. Why is Smog an ice type? Vital Throw is 95. Oh, shit, that's actually really useful. Uh, definitely not getting rid of that. Uh, I guess Smog. I have three Grass type moves. Uh, Razor Leaf still physical in this? Yeah. I'm not sure if, uh... Oh, this thing has, a uh, natural cure, doesn't it? This... I didn't even know that was an ability it had. I don't use Swablu, like, ever. I did it again. Hey, you just got a bunch of puny ass Pokemon in your fucking victory bell that wrecked me. Alright. Uh, bye. Oh, that thing had a lot of HP. Yeah, Altaria is a cool Pokemon, I just don't use him. Yeah, see if you can escape this, you piece of shit. Fuck you! You're not natural keeping yourself out of this. Fuck out of here. Wait. I like how the fucking trainer over here looks when Sans left. Mega uh, Altaria seems ridiculously overpowered, at least in Gen 6, it seemed overpowered. I don't see why it wouldn't have play rough in Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. Even, even I imagine it'd be a move to move actually. But isn't uh, Altaria more special oriented than physical? Oh, I forgot to get rid of Andy. What's my favorite pseudo legendary? I guess Metagross. I don't know, I always like Metagross. Metagross is cool. Bye, Andy. I'll miss you. You've had a fucking ridiculously overpowered move. Oh, I forgot to name uh, Taco Bell in the... Uh Sidebar. God damn it. I don't want a capital A. There we go. Alright, it's got more special attack than physical. I always thought uh, Lethion was more physical oriented, but I must have been wrong. I mean, with Mega Altari, you're gonna want a normal move rather than a special or a fairy type move because of its ability pixelate. Pixelate as an ability is pretty stupid, strong, and annoying. I mean, that's what made Gardevoir as much of a threat as it was when it was in OU and Gen 6.
I have way too many dead Andes. More dead, dead Andes than I know what to do with, so I just throw them away. Oh, a Charizard. Okay, we got steam. <laughs> that is not an Earth type move. Well, trying to get you out of here. Uh, there's nobody I can bring in to safely switch. Yeah, you're a safe switch. Boosting moves should not be in Nuzlocke, this is way too stupid. Oh my god, stop with the Steel-type Pokémon, oh my god. Get out of here with that shit. Alright, Taco Bell's almost at a reasonable level where I can... Ah, oh, Christ! We're getting some stupid strong Pokémon lately. Ah, oh, one Pokémon. I, I want more, uh, water or water fire Pokémon. We don't... we didn't get that until Gen 6 with a Legendary, and I want it as, like, a normal-ass Pokémon. I don't know. It just seems like it'd be a cool type. You know what we need more of, though? Firefighting. L successfully getting given. Yeah. No kidding. Oh my god. Oh, well, this thing's faster than me. Let me guess. Steel type? It's not a steel type! Nice! I kinda missed that when a lot of Pokemon had the same fucking cry. My favorite is, favorite is Paris and Mewtwo having the same fucking cry for no real reason. Oh my god, speaking of Rhydon! You know what, Rhydon and Charizard were on this team. So, way to go, simply Renny Rambus. You predicted the future. And the past. Is there a fairy dark Pokemon? No. I feel like in Gen 8 that's going to be like a legendary of some sort. That definitely seems like a legendary sort of typing. Steel type. Not a steel type. <laughs> Poison Dragon is a cool typing, but it's... Very unfortunate that all the poison dragon types are trash. Not even gonna sugarcoat it, they're all pretty trash. There's a couple Pokemon that had the same cries in Gen 1. I'm trying to think of a couple more. We don't get too many uh, normal type, normal typing splash into random types unless it's like flying. So I, I'd like to see more normal types in general with the mixed typing instead of just neutral normal type and normal flying, because that would be cool. Hmm. 
remember when people thought you can get mute by moving a truck. Man, I wish that were true. That'd be such a cool way to get mute. Like the, like, the game developers purposefully saw that oversight and knew to put something there. And they should have rewarded you instead of just giving you a fucking stupid-ass truck. They just give you a stupid motherfucking truck. Oh, I got a good rod. I could totally cheat right now. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. No, wait, I can't do that here. Next town, I could probably do it in. I've already got a Pokemon here, so I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm gonna keep grinding Taco Bell. Yep, that's me. I'm Fred Fox. <laughs> okay, both of those seem like Pokemon they'd actually have. And that upsets... Every time that happens, that upsets me. <laughs> Both my Pokemon are ghost types. That wouldn't have done shit even if it did hit. <sighs> I am so sorry you all had to hear that. Holy shit, I forgot to mute my mic. That was me blowing my nose. Oh no, this is a DS. This is a DS game. Yeah, I put the second screen in the corner so, so you can see what I'm doing. Because I actually do use the second screen. I know a lot of people don't. They prefer to use the buttons. But I, I like the second screen. I always thought it was nice and convenient. The fact that we only have one pure flying type in, eight, in almost eight gens is concerning. And it's a legendary. That's so weird. We have, what, seven bird starting Pokemon. Like, actual legendary birds. A bird that's on the ground. I guess that's reasonable because it's normal flying, meaning it's just a normal, regular, average, ordinary bird. I don't fucking know what I'm saying anymore, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, it seems weird that there's only one pure flying type in the game. I'm so glad I have these. I feel like a lot of the sprites in this game are the same as uh, the one in older generations. Well, just specifically Gen 3 to Gen 4, I feel are the same. I feel like the unknowns don't change whatsoever. I feel like that's a fair one, though. Because what else can you improve on? You could just change the angle, I guess. What do you fucking do? It's Pikachu. I'm gonna get that Pikachu. basically. Ha! Loser. There are no grass fire types. How would that work? Would it just be like a forest set on fire? <laughs> I 
grass fighting type that isn't Breloom. I feel like there is, but I can't remember it right now. Oh! Uh, chest Pin's final evolution. Chestnut. Chestnut's uh, grass fighting. How about a burning tree as a Pokemon? Trevin in Alolan form is just uh, it's just a tree that's on fire instead of fi grass goes, it's grass fire. I don't trust that, right, you? Steel type. Not a steel type. Yay! Why do a lot of Pokemon have eruption? What move is eruption? Percent accuracy? Why? Oh yeah, I still got this border. Let me shout out on this border a bit. Oh, a Starly. Eh. Probably a Fisher. I'm gonna die. That was pathetic. This burger, this burger is absolutely freaking flavorless. <laughs> Did nothing. Wow. That was sad. It <laughs> was pathetic. Uh, turtle with a forest on his back. Uh, that's Torterra you're thinking of. Uh, it's actually in this generation of Pokemon. I think we encountered it before. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Unless it, like, absolutely destroyed me. A lot of normal and, like, secondary typings haven't been done. There's actually very few, unless they're, like, normal flying. I think there's a... There's a normal psychic and normal fighting. And that's Melowello, 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 Meloetta. There. It took me like six years to do that. What are you suggesting we set Torterra on fire? That's. that's awful. You're just gonna set its back on fire? That's depressing. How to make an Alolan form. Get a grass type and set it on fire. <laughs> Yay, a Petra Berry. That would have been useful like 20 minutes ago. Oh, I have the odd keystone. Might as well put it in here. What is this? Uh, yeah, raspberries. A Sunflower Pokemon being grass and fire. Yeah, let's set Sunflora on fire. Let's do that. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Please. I want that. Set Sunflora on fire. Please. Beware is fighting normal, too, yeah. That's an interesting typing. Sunflora, in general, isn't usable in the slightest. It's a pretty... Com competitively unviable Pokemon. 
if there ever was one. Fire some floor becomes anything goes and learns be create. That would be a alternate universe I would want to live in. I would love to live in that universe where Sun Flora is AG. you just said. Avoiding all battles. I did it. I swear to God, if you battle me, I will kick your ass. I would love for that hard gold soul silver thing to come back. Really, I would. That was such a, it was a nice little touch. Like I could live without it, but it was nice to have your Pokemon following around, just picking up things with its mouth and handing it to you, doing stupid shit like that. I love that. I love that. Any Pokemon I hate with a burning patch, Emolga. I hate Emolga. I absolutely hate Emolga. I think it's stupid. I think it's ugly. I think it's worthless. I hate Volt Switch, and I hate Emolga. I hate Emolga. I hate Emolga. Fuck Emolga. Fuck Emolga. I hate Emolga. I... Fuck Emolga. Moga beat a Garchomp and competitive. Okay, a fucking Pachirisu beat a Garchomp and a Tyranitar in competitive. That doesn't mean shit. It just means that Pachirisu should be in Anything Goes, and that's a fact. Did you comment that on both chats? Y2K? <laughs> I'll play your Eve, don't worry. I just gotta finish Battle Network first. I gotta get back to doing Battle Network. It's another thing. I definitely want to do Sonic Adventure repaint it. Alright, time to do a double battle. Any moves I hate with a burning passion? Uh, hmm. That's an interesting question. I don't know what to expect from either of these because I took the fucking you almost I put the Flaffy to sleep last time. So I'll just wait. I'll wail on the Flaffy again. I'm not gonna bother putting it to sleep. Actually, I'll wail on the old. No, I'm gonna wail on the Flaffy. I'll wail on the Flaffy first. I 
Oh, okay, I wailed on the Flaffy. Almost stars a Steel type, isn't that fucking nice? I just love the Steel type. I'm starting to hate the Steel type. Let's see, any move that I hate. It's a move I love to hate, but also love to use at the same time. Knockoff. I fucking love and hate knockoff. I have this incredible love-hate relationship with the move. It's definitely... I think I feel like everybody who plays competitive Pokemon has a love-hate relationship with that move. Because when you see it, you know you want that Pokemon dead as soon as possible. Because knocking off your items just puts you in a bad situation when you're playing competitive. Because your items are very important, depending on which Pokemon you have. And when you use it, you're like, sweet, I don't have to worry about that fucking choice specs anymore. That's... I triggered your competitive PTSD. Yeah, right? See? It's not just me. The move knockoff is obnoxious. Just straight up. Yeah, again, so Flora is an absolute garbage Pokemon. It could probably lose to a lot of level 100. <gasps> oh, and he's gonna be a Blossom! Cool! I'm gonna probably kill this thing. Uh, bite. Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna keep biting it. <laughs> I sure. This, these are some cool moves. I'm not too concerned. Alright, I'm gonna switch out and then hypnosis it with meat and fuck. <laughs> the hand from the animation knockoff. The animation from knockoff should be the middle finger. I can I can get behind that. That was an ugly sound. Did you guys hear that? Ugh. That was gross. I think knockoff was... I, I think knockoff had its niche in uh, Gen 5, but it became a standard in Gen 6 when it got that... Absolutely unnecessary buff. It's the most unnecessary buff. A move does not need to double in power when it has 65 base power. That is... That is not okay. Unless it's one of those, uh... Well, this is one of those ones that guarantees you to go last, then... No, that should not be a thing. That's not okay. Damn it. Alright. Lowest stats of all fully evolved Pokemon. They're definitely lower in the non fully evolved. Like Sunkern. I'm pretty sure Sunkern has the lowest. That's cute. It just sucks. Cocksucker. Yay! It's a normal fly. It's just a regular flying type, speaking of. <laughs> wow. Uh, Andy. I 
I gotta look this up. One eighty two, all right. Isn't he beautiful? Center real quick and heal up what I got. Uh, bu -bu. What happens when the power goes out mid trade? I don't know. Somebody loses a Pokemon. At least that's what happened to me at one point. I wanted to trade a Dragonite to one of my files and one of my batteries fell out and I lost the Dragonite but got a level 6 Pidgey. on him too. attack next turn, so why not? Hmm. Besides knockoff, what unnecessary buffs have there been? I can't think of any right now. That's a good question. I feel like that was the only one that had a really significant, like, shake-up in the meta, but... I know Leech Life was there for a bit, but it's not that great of a move to... It wasn't a... it was a useless move to begin with, and now it's an alright move for bug types. Other than that, like, it's not- there was nothing ridiculously game-breaking. Do I like waffles? Yeah, I like waffles. Christ, what is with all these Pokemon Are we all the fucking legendary moves? I did four damage! <laughs> Persian's the most unoriginal Pokemon name? Have you heard Krabby? No, 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 no. Have you heard its Japanese name? Crab? Or how about Seal?
or gas or poison gas or huh, or cum spelled backwards uh, I mean there were some terribly unoriginal names in Gen 1 in Japanese and in English in Japanese it was worse actually I mean when you think about it Pikachu is just called electric mouse Not that creative. Crab is a literal literal word. Steel is a literal word. Persian Persian's also a literal world, but at least it's not called Big Cat or something stupid like that. It could it could be named a lot worse. It could be named Seal. It could be named Crab. Yeah, exactly. Krabby's Japanese name is literally Crab. Just... just Crab. They didn't even try. Oh, look out, we're fighting Kirby. I don't think we can go through with this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, jeez, Christ. Oh, okay. I misclicked right there. But... You know, heal order too, you slut. Fuck you. Probably Ember or something, or Flame Wheel. It's probably Flame Wheel. Motherfucker. kind of move did I not expect Game Freak to make? I didn't expect them to make Scald. I think that was a interesting move. And it's also another move that shook up the meta. Because a lot of people like took off Surf and Hydro Pump and replaced it with Scald because it was much more viable as a move. Wide Lens boosts Focus Miss a lot. Yeah, it does. I don't have too many Pokemon with shit accuracy moves, but if I eventually get one, I'm definitely gonna give it to him. Oh, no, not Mud Slap. Come on, don't do that. Oh god, I gotta sneeze. Hey, don't diss Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam was a great move in Gen 1. In Gen 2, it was nerfed to shit, but in Gen 1, it was way too powerful to, that it had any right being. Stop using Mud Slap. Ah, oh, all my moves are missing. I don't want to battle anymore. All of my moves are missing. God, I'm so glad that hit. I thought it was 90 accuracy. Yeah, it's 90 in Generation 1, which is even worse. Sing for... I, I don't sing. 
I'm too much of a cool guy to be singing. I hate this fucking fog. When I was playing Gen 2, I just had a level, like, 90 for Alligator, and I somehow managed to, like, scrounge up enough max potions to actually beat him. If that's how I beat him. I think it took me 20 tries. Don't play... Don't play Pokemon games with just one Pokemon. Unless you're doing it on purpose. Wow, a lot of your moves are hitting, huh, Gramble? Fuck this fog. This isn't fun. <laughs> this isn't game design. This is not fun. Oh. Okay. Fuck you. Alright, have a good night, Gamer Nation. I don't care. Fuck. Oh my god. Just, I don't know, do something. I'm, I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> oh my god, this is absurd. Hit the hypnosis, fuck you. Fuck your mom, Granbull. Fuck your dad, Granbull. I fucking hate fog in this game. I'm gonna leave. I'm leaving after this is done. Holy shit. Just God. Fuck off. Yeah, all your attacks are fucking hitting. Yeah, that's nice. Fuck off. Holy shit. Fun. Video games. You hear that? You hear that, people watching the stream? That's me clicking my mouse constantly because I'm doing absolutely fucking nothing. And there's nothing else I can do. All you fucking moves are hitting. <sighs> he has one more Pokemon. The fog sure is deep. Oh, good. He has poke. He has moves that we'll miss constantly too. <sighs> Just rock smash it to death. I don't care. What do you mean, knock it off? I can't knock it off. Tell the fog to fuck off. How about that? Moisture is in the air, yes. I'm not even gonna complete this fucking tower. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, of course you have a citrus berry! <laughs> Go fuck yourself! <sighs> oh. 
I am absolutely fucking salty. <laughs> How long has this battle been going on? I think anybody would be mildly annoyed if they were in a battle for 20 minutes. <gasps> oh! I don't think I want to no! You know what? If I die, I'm not counting it. If I die, I'm not counting it. I don't care. I don't fucking care. Fuck this. Fuck this. Honest to God. Fuck this. Do I have any? No. <sighs> Not counting this. I'll tell you which stream isn't my favorite. This one. This one right here. Where I'm fighting this Torkoal for six years. If Steam dies, I'm going to be upset. Good. Uh, my personal favorite stream that I took part in, I don't know, probably Sonic. <laughs> I'm gonna answer your question seriously now. Salt aside. This is the definition of salt right here. What is this absolute junk just Jesus Christ you have you've definitely found the salt mines so I can calm the fuck down. Whew. I think Andy could beat this Torkoal. Oh. This is... Oh. No, he, he, he might do it. He might actually do it. Tower, I'm out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Nobody died. I mean, our H. I'm, I mean, fucking not Evie lost a life, but. <sighs> yeah, I don't get salty either. I don't think I've ever gotten extremely salty on stream. Not like that. I never yelled on stream because I was super salty, but Jesus Christ! 
I mean, I can't you can't escape in the trainer battle. I'm not taking any risks. Steve, hold this, please. Oh my god, please. Kill me. The C-Dot is gonna kill me. I don't get salty, I play too much competitive. If you play too much competitive, I feel like you will never get salty again. Like, no other game can make you salty more than competitive Pokemon. Did it just use Memento and just die? <sighs> Alright. Get salty, I win. That's that's the that's the optimist attitude. I, I like your attitude. I feel like the moment I, I just sent in chat was the moment where I got the most salty. <laughs> was when I realized that Steam could not use heal order. <laughs> I'm not coming back here. Um, I'm, I'm gone. I'm going far away from here. <laughs> I remember one moment when I was like 12, I got super salty at this one guy. Because uh, he kept using Confuse Ray and it was working, so I got super loudly pissed. And I didn't realize the mic was on, so he heard me screaming at him the entire time. I was telling him, Fuck you, I hope your mother just fucking dies one day, you fat loser! Fuck you! Fuck you! I did not say loser, by the way, I definitely said the N-word. Because I was a very, very shitty kid when I was younger. I just want to make that very clear, I was a terrible kid. So I just kept calling him a fat N-word. <laughs> and he could hear me. <laughs> I was a really shitty kid, just know that. Yeah, I feel like every 12 year old has said the N-word at one point. We need another X. Uh, I'll take this one. Alright, uh, <sighs> oh. I'm actually exhaling a lot. You know which n-word I mean. Like, I make no attempts to hide that I was like an edgy 12 year old who says the n-word. Because I know that shit's online somewhere. Someone's gonna find an old account of me saying the n-word constantly. And I don't want to be like uh, Tana Mongyu and try to hide and say I didn't know what those words mean. No, I totally know what that word means. I was just an edgy 12 year old. Everybody was a twedgy edgy edgy old. A twedgy edgy old. <laughs> an edgy 12 year old at some point. And sometimes you grow out of it, sometimes you're still saying the N word at age 20. Oh, yeah, I should get rid of Victory Bell like now. I forgot about that.
I'm actually talking about Naruto when I say the N-word. <laughs> Cheers, old, yeah. You go from 11 to edge years old. <laughs> Are we just talking about what the N-word I mean possibly is? Is that the discussion we're devolving into right now? If so, I'm very okay with that. Hey, he's getting through to level 25. Ice Shard is actually a really strong move. Holy crap, Lois. Uh, I don't know what type Raikou is. You know, we could just tech check the Pokedex to see what type it is. I should also check what the Victory Bell's typing is, because we seem to be running into that a lot. Jojo is a pretty good game. The human brain never matures is the most correct statement in this chat all night, coming from the man who just screamed at a video game because all his attacks were missing. I, I didn't look at Twitch chat until just now. Somebody was surprised at Raikou. I... I don't know. Legendaries just aren't surprising me anymore. I've gotten to that point. I'm not gonna run into any... You know what? I'm gonna check the Pokedex. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Where the f frick is it? There it is. Don't tell my mom I said Frick, by the way. see Victory Bell on here. That's a problem. If you don't love swing sets, you're not old, you're wrong. I can, I can stand by that statement. cut the stream at around 2, by the way, whether I get to the gym or not. Alright, at least, at least I finally get to do a one-on-one -on -one battle. I say that, but I, that that two-on-two -two battle that we just had was like the first one in about 30 minutes.
I ain't fucking with that. I ain't fucking with that. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't fucking with that. I don't, I don't fuck with confusion. I don't see Trungolio. Trungolio's dead. I'm sorry you're late to the party, but he died in the second stream. I'm really sorry. Trust me, he, he, I wanted to keep him alive, but he died in one hit. He did definitely die. He peed for his last pee. He peed his last pee. That's what I meant to say. Don't worry. Chungolio lives on in our hearts. You also missed when I saw a... Uh, a Manectric live in the wild. I was really heartbroken about it because I wanted it. Why are there Psyducks here? Ooh, I can get Moo Moo Milk. Moo Moo Milk. Moo Moo Milk. Oh. Just gotta fight people for their Moo Moo Milk. Sorry you can't stay, Azure, but good luck. Have a good night. Do I know that image of a pit bull sitting on a couch giving a huge smile? Yes, I do. I know exactly what image you're talking about. That was a very easy win. I'm actually going to buy a few of these because these are actually really cost-effective healing items. They're cheaper than super potions and heal more. They're also more cost-effective than hyper potions, so I'm going to buy three dozen of these. You play competitive Pokemon and competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know, in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, you can't get salty, you just get bored. That's my experience with competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Because there's a point where you just fight the same spellbook player in the second round. It's only turn two, and yet time is already half over. Don't you just love that? You aren't competitive until you do that. Competitive Mario Party. Trust no one. Just trust no Pokemon. This is a new Pokemon, and I don't trust it. I don't trust it! 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 Oh god, oh god, oh god. It needs to be dead. Oh, it's poison and steel. Ooh. How do you... What? Its attack is maxed out. What? How do you... How do you unironically play competitive Mario Party 5? Like, I'm not talking like you're in a heated gamer moment and you dab in Fortnite and play Mario Party afterwards. Don't judge your friend because he's a furry. 
judge your friend who's because he's in war. That's why I judge my friends. The same way someone plays competitive Sonic show. Why? <laughs> I don't even want to think about that as a possibility. Just... Why? I should really be training, uh, Andy. Dueling isn't about winning or losing, it's about having a sweet time! Jaden Yuki, 2002. Hey, GX was good. GX was definitely one of the better ones. At least it's not Zexel or Arc 5. Arc 5 was terrible. It had a great start, but it just ended so horrendously. God. Uh, yeah, I'm training Andy. Fuck it. I'm gonna give this to... I'm gonna give this to Taco Bell. Taco Bell hasn't died yet, so... Might as well just keep the XP share on him for now. I don't say Chaz it up, I say Monjomi Thumb Thunder. That's the real, that's the real catchphrase right there. The same as... <laughs> what are you even talking about anymore, Sinclair? Christ! Are you saying words anymore? I'm guessing this is the TM for Rust. I wonder what it is right now. It is Lick. <laughs> lick turned from a 20, 20 base power ghost type move to a 140 grass type move. What? Who do I give this to? Oh, I can't not give it to Meat and Fuck. Can I not? Wow. That's unbelievable. I'm not getting rid of swords in it. I don't know what to do. I'll save Lick for another day. Five Ds is definitely my favorite anime. I want to go in the tall grass, but I can't because if I go in here, I'll have to fight a wild Pokemon, and I haven't get found one yet. This would be a nice place to find a wild Pokemon that I can take whenever Andy dies. I'm going to fight this classy gentleman gamer. 5D's got a lot of shit after... You just, you just caught that in your backyard? You just caught it Deoxys? Okay, buddy. Whatever you say. Ooh, boy. Let's see, it's not affected by ghosts. So, it is either a Steel-type or a Dark-type. I have moves for both. Survey says Steel-type. Okay. Do people still use Stardust Dragon in 2018? I haven't seen it much. There we go. There's the money maker. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... It, it keeps boosting its defenses and it's getting really hard to kill. 
five T's. Funny. Funny joke. You thought Nintendo wasn't going to ting you, the 3DS family, but five D's are a thing? You're a, you're a funny man. This chat was never... This chat was relevant to the stream about an hour ago. Sure as hell isn't relevant now. Oh, okay. I thought I thought that was Super Fang. I mixed those two up. Alright. Just keep using Hyper Fang, buddy. You just keep... Keep on doing you. You just... Do be the best you you can possibly be, Deoxys. Go to sleep. Right now, cars. Why my chat? Why every time does my chat devolve into porn? Why don't you go to Andy's chat and talk about porn there? Please stop going to my chats to talk about porn. Anybody but me. Go to Tanner's stream. Go to Skrunk's stream. I call them Tanner, but go to Skrunk Stream. Oh. Alright, I guess I'm using Rock Smash. Super Fang is a guaranteed 50% damage rate at, on your opponent. Pumbal, Pumbal, opponent. Just a 50%. 50% of your opponent's HP just gone. Which is arguably better than... I don't know what Hyper Fang actually does in terms of damage. Oh, and I also got this crab in my backyard. I, I know, it's really cool. It's a lot better than that piece of shit space deer day that I caught in the backyard. I just kind of have it, like, pooping gold and shit. That's why I only keep it around. That thing is garbage. It's ugly. I hate it. Oh, I got a Dawnstone. Can I evolve anything with it? I don't think I can. Thanks for the TM payback. I wonder what it actually is. Power! Wow, that is trash. That is garbage. Wow. I never did get that second beer. This isn't a beer, this is a soda. Hot garbage. That doesn't work. Ice isn't hot. Can't call a ice hot garbage. You gotta call it cold turd or something, I don't know. I probably have a beer somewhere. I'm that white trash that I just have random full beer cans around. I still, speaking of which, I still have this burger in front of me. I just don't want to eat it because it's so garbage. Like, it's actually a really bad burger. <laughs> I guess I'll take another bite of it. It did cost me like eight bucks. 
so flavorless. God. I have some bar I go to. They have other good stuff. Their wings are great. Their bruschetta is absolutely amazing. Uh, their garlic bread, absolutely good. Really. It's got, it's like that perfect cooked consistency of crunchy on the outside, but nice and, like, chewable on the inside. I hate really crunchy garlic bread where you just can't chew it. But this is my first time trying their burgers, and I'm very disappointed. I already forgot what move we're doing. Oh, spikes, right. Oh, that could be useful. I mean, I already got an 80 power ice shard, so I might as well give Andy spikes. You played this game on your Mac? There are emulators of... Wow, this is the first Pokemon I encountered in this area. Shit, and I can't catch it. We love you too, Raviel. We love you too. I love you all. I'm gay. Well, what was that? Was that Mock Punch? I don't know, the text flew by so fast that I just completely missed it. Interesting. I didn't know Mac had DS emulators specifically. I mean, obviously they made GBA emulators for the Mac. I know that much. I was still in school when those were the hip thing, and my school, all my schools that I've ever been to only had Macs. They didn't have PCs, which I hated. Tay brainwashed a little girl. It wasn't brainwashing. The girl was just in denial that her father was fucking dead. I would, I would think, I would think my dad was an Entei too. If my dad suddenly died, and the only thing that came back was a fucking mythical Pokemon. That was a good. That was the only good Pokemon movie. Like, like the only good one. Well, the only good standalone one. I think all of the Diamond and Pearl movies work very well together. Oh, that's, oh that's just Barry. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna fuck with those. Oh, I get a call a Trico. No. Oh, oh, oh. The plot point was that. Well, the Entei, I forget what happened, it's been a while since I actually watched the movie, but the Entei essentially received memories of her father. And I think it was something along the lines of the girl, or the Entei was bound to obey the girl for whatever reason, and it had something to do with her father. It wasn't her father, but the girl truly believed it was her father, even though he was dead. Yeah, that, that the Entei was voiced by Dan Green, wasn't he? I think that was one of his first voice roles for four kids. You know, you know, it's better than the hentai he was doing before. I think anything was. God. Not so little known fact. Yes, Yugi Dan Green. Not so little known fact. Uh, Dan Green did hentai before he did four kids. And he did the, and he did the attempt voice too. He didn't just do. He, he did his typical attempt voice in the hentai too. Wow, I've exhausted ice shard. Oh, playing this game, huh? Okay, okay, buddy. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's fucking go. 
Now cluck like a yeah. You you've seen it. You've you've seen it. You know I'm gonna play it in the background just just for you guys. Little treat for you. Let's see if I can find it. I I can find it on YouTube easily. Just the. Just like the voice clip. I'm not gonna send it in the chat. There is so. Wow, he did a lot more than I thought. Okay, let's go with this. You're a naughty little priestess, aren't you, Kotoe? Yes, I'm a very bad priestess. I need to worship at the temple of your god. <laughs> Please don't deny my <laughs> your sweet love hammer. Purify my soul. <laughs> Put your magnificence in my wet, nasty dick and bless me with your salty <laughs> I don't know why it's censored, but For I like it. Sakes, give me some! Oh, oh. Mm. The Venus Almighty will answer your sweet prayers. Now lift your butt. Yes, Venus Almighty. Oh, it's going in. How observant. Cram it all the way in. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, oh. The Andy is going to have a miserable time editing this. I don't know how to deal with this. I can't this. take it. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, Venus. almighty, pound me harder, harder. I don't know how to deal with that. I am upset. What did I just watch? Oh, it was somebody watching it. Let me see if I can get the uh, one everybody knows. Alright, here it is. All right, doggy, bark for me. Louder. Now cluck like a chicken. What? A chicken, no! Now like you're laying a humongous egg. Whoa! Cockadoodle did. So yeah, that was a thing. You know, maybe this is why people talk about porn in my chat. Because I keep doing shit like that. But yeah, that was a real thing. That was, that was Nan Green. That was Yugi. That was Knuckles. That was... I don't know what he did in One Piece. That was... Entei. Like we just said. What else did Dan Green do? What did he do in One Piece? I'm curious. He, he Surely he had to have done One Piece. That was NME. Uh, no, he didn't act it as anybody in One Piece. I think they would. The chicken noises made me flaccid. Oh shit, how many- Andy, you just missed it! Uh, 14 times, first of all. Andy, you're gonna kill me! No, I'm not playing it for him again. I'm not- I don't want to listen to it again. Why would I make Andy listen to it? Hyper voice. That's actually pretty cool. It's a bug type move. So we got Trico and Septile in this area. That's interesting.
One, I don't know. Two, no. Twitch chat has been silent for a while, and clearly they wanted to say something to me after I played that. Good to know. Good to know I can get Twitch chat's attention. Just play fucking Dan Green acting in porn. Alright, I gotta sneeze. You're not editing that out? Okay, fine. <laughs> fine, Andy, you're not editing it out. Oh, holy shit! Uh, nah. I don't know if I'm faster than it. I'm not taking that risk. Well, Andy, you almost died again. That crit. Oh my god, that crit. That was scary. Ah, oh, at least please kick me through. Clutch. Clutch is an understatement. <gasps> Taco Bell's learning back! Oh, nice! Nice! It's a really good move. It has 130 base power. I wish GameCube games were on Switch already. I would at least like ports. I would at least like PSN stuff. You know how they port PS1 games. They have like the entire PS1 library. Like available. Day one. Switch can't even get like fucking Killer7 on it. Alright, I'm just speaking about what I want. <laughs> Nobody wants Killer7. Ghost can kick if it believes hard enough. Did I buy those? No, Andy, I did not buy these Moo Moo Milks from the Hex Maniac. God. She's not in this generation. She's not. She's only in Generation 3 and Generation 6. You fucking troglodyte. I would definitely buy them from her if she were in here, but no, she is not. there's one game Dolphin didn't emulate perfectly until it recently is Killer7. Dolphin 4.0 did, did a terrible job uh, dealing with its really unique cell shading, so it often looked like shit. Getting Wind Waker on the Switch, we're probably gonna get the HD port, if anything. I'd say 5, honestly. 5 is a fairly good version of Dolphin. Like, I have no problems with it. Alright, time to whale on Gibble. I think Gibble is a steel type, so. Oh, no, it's not. It's also a dead type. The HD remake is a good HD remake, to be fair. I'm gonna 
and no Taco Bell. Andy's not doing too well. Have a good night, uh, bu bu Dentu. And like I said, at 2 a.m. I was gonna cut the stream. I'm gonna wait until uh, I get to the next town at the very least, though. We didn't really accomplish much this stream. I want to stream tomorrow, but I'm going to be busy on the following day, so I probably won't. Oh, camera ups. That's an interesting thing that we haven't seen before. Alright, time to try this. I've been meaning to try this all fucking stream. That was easy. <laughs> that shaman. By the way, all these attacks have 130 base power. If you don't know how beat-up works, every Pokemon attacks with a hunt with the base power of something. It was originally a Dark-type move with 20-ish attack. It's 130. Each attack did 100, 20 each. Each attack does 130 base power. Which is insanely overpowered, which is why Taco Bell is going to be a very important asset, no matter how much he dies. If he dies, it's going to be heartbreaking, let's be real. Uh, oh, it's a uh, Merc Bro. I'm going to beat it up. I'm going to burn this Shaman. This Shaman's gonna be a real threat. Well, actually, no, it's burned, so it won't be as much of a threat. I'll just keep beating it. I'll just beat it up. Shit. Just, you know what? You, beat and fuck, you stay back. Just let, let Taco Bell do all the work. Meet and fuck, you have been replaced. Finally in another town. What do you got for me? You gotta have something for me. Oh boy, we're in Veilstone. I hate this city because I never know where to go. <sighs> fucking crash your wake. I love this guy. He's so fucking cool. Okay, if you don't think Professor Crowler is top waifu, get the fuck out of my stream. I don't want you here. If you don't think Professor Crowler isn't a hot piece of ass, you don't deserve to be on my stream. Alright, I'm gonna hit up this Pokemon Center, and then we're gonna... What do you mean, wait? I am gonna go to bed. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to bed. All right, well, I I am going to cut it here, so everyone, I hope you had a great time watching, and I hope you all have a great rest of your night. I am going to save first. I'm pretty sure I did save, but just in case I didn't.
I ain't gonna do that again. And I'm also gonna make a safe state, because I don't trust myself. Alright, have a good night everybody. I'm actually gonna turn off the stream this time. Let's annoy him in the last 10 seconds. Alright, bring it. Annoy me. Annoy me in this last 10 seconds. You got them starting right now. Your time is up. You have all failed. I gave you an extra two seconds, too. Good night. You losers. Just kidding. I love you.